a planet killer asteroid that could one day collide and impact our Earth has been discovered. The huge Bahamut, which is presently following an orbit that lies within those of Earth and Venus, is around 0.9 miles wide, so it's pretty big. It's about a sixth of the diameter of the asteroid believed to have killed off the dinosaurs about 66 billion, uh, million years ago in the Yucatan Peninsula. The largest potentially hazardous asteroid to be identified in eight years has been detected by researchers, experts at the Cerro Tololo Inter-American Observatory in Chile, have dubbed it 2022 AP7. It's a space rock which is a uh, 1.5 kilometers wide, 0.9 miles wide, huge, whose orbit present, presently lies within those of the Earth and Venus, but could one day end up in Earth's path, so that's not good. The team have also detected two other near-Earth asteroids, 2021 PH27, which is over one kilometer across, that's 0.6 miles, that's also huge, and 2021 LJ4, which is around 0.3 miles or half a kilometer in diameter. The former is of particular interest to astronomers as it's the closest known asteroid to the Sun, meaning that its surface is hot enough to melt lead and it experiences the most extreme gravitational effects of any object in our solar system. Both of these objects, though, are following uh, orbital paths that will keep them safely inside that of Earth's orbit, so they are, uh, are no, uh, there's no present danger of colliding with us. Paper author and astronomer Dr. Scott Shepard of the Carnegie Institute for Science in Washington, D.C., says that our twilight survey is scouring the area within the orbits of Earth and Venus for asteroids. He says, so far we have found two large near-Earth asteroids that are about one kilometer across, the size that we call planet killers. They're called planet killers, one kilometer across. So there are likely only a few nearer lost asteroids with similar sizes left to find. Well, how would they know? That's what just, that's just a theory. And these large undiscovered asteroids likely have orbits that keep them interior to the orbits of Earth and Venus most of the time. Only about 25 asteroids with orbits completely within Earth's orbit have been discovered to date because of the difficulty of observing them from the glare of the sun. Now, uh, to make these observations, Dr. Shepard and colleagues took advance uh, the advantage of more favorable viewing conditions available during twilight. This still only gave them about two brief 10-minute long windows each night to survey the inner solar system, and they still had to deal with a bright background sky resulting from the sun's glare. And besides that, the fact that such observations are taken very near to the horizon mean that the astronomers also had to contend with looking through the, bad, the thick slice of Earth's atmosphere, a situation which can blur and distort observations, they said. They were able to overcome these challenges thanks to the Dark Energy Camera, DCAM, an instrument at the Cerro Tololo Inter-American Observatory, a state-of-the-art wide field charge coupled device that can capture images of large areas of the sky with great sensitivity. Now, at the same time, DCAM also provides so-called deep observations, which are able to pick up extremely faint objects. Both are invaluable, the team said, when hunting for asteroids inside of Earth's orbit. Dr. Shepard says, large areas of sky are required because the inner asteroids are rare, and deep images are needed because asteroids are faint and you're, flight, you're fighting in the bright twilight near the sun, as well as distorted effects of Earth's atmosphere. The DCAM can cover large areas of sky to depths not achievable on smaller telescopes, allowing us to go deeper, cover more sky, and probe the inner solar system in ways never done before. According to the team, alongside detecting potential hazardous asteroids, the study is also important for advancing our understanding of the destruction of small bodies in the solar system. At present, they explain because such objects are easier to detect 
out in the wide orbits. They tend to dominate current theoretical models of the solar system asteroid population. Furthermore, detecting near-Earth asteroids can also help shine a light on how asteroids are transported through the inner solar system as well as how gravitational interactions with other bodies and solar radiation can lead to their fragmentation. Shepard said, our DCAM survey is one of the largest, most sensitive searches ever performed for, other, uh, for objects within Earth's orbit and near to Venus's orbit. This is unique. It's a unique chance to understand what types of objects are lurking in the inner solar system. DCAM was originally built as a result of collaboration between the U.S. Department of Energy and the U.S. National Science Foundation. National Science Foundation Program Director Chris Davis said, after 10 years of remarkable service, DCAM continues to yield important scientific discoveries while at the same time contributing to planetary defense, a crucial service that benefits humanity, of course. Now, we, knew, we do know that this DART mission tried to, um, well, they did impact um, the Didymus system, um, and uh, the little moonlet was... Uh, uh, impacted by the spaceship and it did uh, have a success in that it uh, somehow pushed it off its trajectory. So they are coming up with some kind of planetary defense systems so far by crashing a spacecraft into uh, some kind of celestial body to move it out of its trajectory. Now this is that was we said a planet killer discovered lately this year. It's huge. It's about one mile wide. This is by Ian Randall on Express UK. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.